It's a beautiful open house day. The gardens have been cleaned out for the winter. is the village nursery. It's Saturday, April the 17th, 2010. The wind is Blowing, but the sun is shining. This is our directory. It tells you where to find a few of our plants. This is the checkout, and here you'll find friendly staff. Welcoming walk rocking chair. This is our tree and shrub area. Some rotos here in the corner. Azaleas. All the roses, old fashioned roses. Some evergreens. Here's some Lily of the Valley plant. That's beautiful, beautiful. Calmias. Some of the early vines, the clematis, aren't out yet. Pretty good selection. see some trees, some evergreens, some five-in-one fruit trees. This is another side shot of the Daisy Dome. This is our water garden. It's not operational yet. The fish are hiding. It's early in the morning. The fish are hiding, but once it gets cleaned out, it would be cleaned out for Mother's Day. Just take you on a little journey of the village nursery in Pleasantville, Nova Scotia, just outside of Bridgewater, down the lovely LaHave River, Route 331 South, some early pansies peeking out. Everybody likes the happy faces of the pansies. Sold in six packs. Some early dianthus, not blooming yet, of course. It is only mid April. More pansies. This is our perennial area, and as you can see, the shelves are pretty empty. A few perennials out, pretty cold. They're in the, still in the greenhouse, trying to stay warm from the surprise frost. There's Joan. Morning, Joan. Joan is our perennial tree and shrub expert, and bugs, diseases, and anything else that you have problems with, you come to the village nursery in Pleasantville and ask for Joan. <laughs> Just a few irises. Back in the back, when the weather gets warm, we'll have our vegetables. We can put vegetables outdoors so they're hardened off for you. 
and way back in the back will be water garden plants. This house is not really set up yet. We'll have displays to go in here. And these are our perennials. These are our bare root perennials that will be going outside in another week or so. Hopefully Jack Frost will stay away, go away. These plants have just been potted up. Don't forget, it's still mid-April. Some of them are showing some growth. These are some ferns. Louisia. Some there's no signs of any growth yet. This, these will be ferns here too. Now they're just empty pots. Here's some irises, early primroses, odd flower peeking out. These are sold in four packs. Yes, we do perennials in four packs. That means four plants in a pack. Not the same ones you find in pots here. These are brought in from Holland. All these perennials, beautiful daylilies, hostas, the ornamental grasses, these these with the black racks, these are all clematis. Clematis, some people pronounce it. Here's some beautiful peony tree peonies. The tree peony wants to be planted really deep. Some more bleeding hearts here. And back here is all kinds of perennials, all different varieties. You can check out uh, on our website. We have a catalog on there. All different kinds of perennials. Stillbees. Semisa fuga. They've changed the name on that. More daylilies, and no, none of our daylilies are from tissue culture. They're all the real thing. Puppies. The beautiful hostess for the shade. These are just a few varieties sitting here. We have lots of them. Don't forget to check out our catalog. It's all online. And the lilies. Oh, the lilies. Beautiful, beautiful lilies and Lily of the Valley. This house will be emptied out in another week. More grass. Ornamental grass. When this house is emptied out, all the perennials are taken out taken out, then we will move in 